Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue create our tiny house building uh, today we will speak more about graphics and rooms so and we will start straight away to, from the graphics uh, as, you, as you can see on this plan our staircase on this side it's not going all this way as you can see it's stopped on this line so but we know our staircase going like this Anyway, he stopped on this uh, position. As you can see, this is part of our staircase from downstairs. Anyway, how we can do the same thing here? Because as you can see, here we have this part of our uh, staircase. Actually, now we should go to the view and we should find here the visibility graphics. Let's open up visibility graphics and let's work it here. So, the first thing first, we should find here the staircase, because we are going to work with staircase. So, let's find our staircase, so stairs here, and as you can see, here everything ok, nothing here, but if we will open up, we will find all these layers. So, we are interesting only the layers which have the uh, word above. It means, if I will switch all this above, all these lines which are going to the uh, above this level, let's apply. You can see it's gone so this is what i want and maybe you will want to create your nice uh drawings so just a uh, switch off this and don't worry you just visually for this uh view you will switch it off if i will create the same as you can see i have here the basement and i will just duplicate it and as you can see if i will go again back to the visual graphic Let's find here the staircase, where is our staircase, uh -huh, it's here, and if I will switch on it here, it doesn't change on the previous one, because visual graphics is independent for each views, so don't forget about it, I will uh, say it's like uh, not much times, around 1000 times, uh, but anyway, don't forget about this. If you make something with the graphics here, it's not will change on your copy because it's independent. So I will delete this basement floor. I don't need it anymore. Let's delete it and I will leave the original one. So uh, I already have the here the sum doors, but I need to create now the rooms. So let's create the rooms. As we know, as you can see here, here is our kitchen on this side, right? Uh, here we have uh, like a um, toilet and this one we will leave like a corridor so this one thing too I will leave for the corridor so and actually we have like one room the second room and third room okay so uh, let's create now this on our plan now we need go to the architecture and let's find here the rooms let's choose the rooms and before I will place, I will introduce you what you can see right now. So this is X, it means uh, position of your room. If your X will see the boundary around this X, uh, you able to create room. You can see it right now. So now my X uh, can see the boundary, the blue line, this is boundary. But if I will, my X will go somewhere here, we cannot see any boundary because we cannot create the uh room here so uh let's put it somewhere here as you can see we already have the, some marks let's uh apply it and as you can see here is my mark so my uh, i mean the text text you can actually can delete because text is also uh it's also the family and it's uh, not will uh, not will happen anything if you will delete this mark uh, this tag Let's go here inside this tag and what we have here more. We have the other tag like room tag with area. So let's use it this one. Now as you can see we have here the our room area. So this is kind of cool. You can change uh, your uh, your tag and you will change for example the data what you want. For example here is the volume and you will get the volume with uh, cube meters. So you can see it here. Let's leave it on the previous one, this one with area. And what we're gonna do now? As I said before, here on this uh, this part of our room, it's the kitchen. So, but as you can see now, if I will uh, choose my area, 
I mean the Maya room. So how you can do that first question, just use the tab key. So I will use the tab key now and you can see Revit helping me to get our room. So let's get our room. This is our room. As I understand how I understand the, is it room or not, just see on this side. So when I will see the room, you can see on the left uh, bottom thing like uh, uh, rooms, room one. Let's choose this room. And you can see now all these boundaries. So this is totally wrong. Even my star case going, uh, calculating to this room. So we need separated. Go to the architecture, find here room separator. Room separator, actually this is line. So it's not 3D line, but anyway, this is helping us to cut our uh, area. So let's use from this part to this part. And as you can see, immediately we have changed our uh, room square meter. So let's choose it again. And as you can see now, it's totally small. Don't forget one thing, guys. Uh, if you will separate, it's not means you will get two different rooms. It means you will cut your original one. So if I will create separate right here, we will get something like that. It's not, we not will get two rooms. Don't forget about that. So let's, let's delete this separate line. Uh, uh, sometimes when you create your room separator, you cannot see it, but it's working, but you cannot see it. So how to switch on? Because in Revit it's not so uh, so straight to understand where is the uh, your separate uh, room separator. Let's go again to visibility graphics, which you find you can find under the view visibility graphics, and here you should under the model categories you should find here the lines. Let's find here the lines. Where is our lines? Oh, sorry, it's a bit here. <laughs> lines as you can see all lines is switch on but it's not true sometimes some lines it's off you should open up all this tree uh, with all the lines and find which your uh, lines it's switch off you can find here the room separate uh, separator let's switch off it let's say apply and as you can see i don't see now my line it's it's working but you cannot see it uh, if you have the same situation, just go to the visibility graphics and change uh, this uh, th th this thing to this uh, to on from the switch off to the on. And let's apply again. And as you can see, everything now all right. Let's say okay, and let's create one more room. Let's create here, as I said, right here. It will be one more room. And again, we need room separator because our circuit cannot work like room separator so let's go to the here i'll create like this and like this again i will change the tag now i can see seven square meter and i'll create one more last one as i said for uh room here and we get now uh some uh, not well situation as you can see that my tag it's much bigger than my room so what you're gonna do actually uh, for example what you will do I, I i know what you will do you will uh switch it here to make it like room on this side right but if i will try to do it now as you can see i'll try it so here is here the thing what you can drag so let's drag it here and what the Revit say? Revit say, sorry, you cannot put your tag outside your room. So what does it mean? Uh, it means your uh, tag should be, be inside your room, your boundary of your room. How we can change it? Just select your tag and find here the leader line and switch it on. Now you are able to put your room anywhere where you want but you will get the line what i did what i did right now so with this line this is line like a bridge between your room and this tag without this line you not able to connect your uh, uh, tag and your room don't forget about that and yes one more thing uh, if you will change uh, your scale your room tags will change too because your room tags this is annotative model don't forget about it 
So let's change it, for example, to 1 to 50. And you will see this is immediately changed to the small. But if I will change to the 1 to the 100, it's get, going to be big. Let's change back to the 100. This is pretty okay. And I will leave like that. So let's do one more thing. Let's change the name of the room. Some of the people trying to change it inside the tag, like double click and change it right like this. But you can also do it just choose your room and change it here room let's well, write here like we see here we will write like corridor and here we will write kitchen okay awesome Now let's switch off, mm, uh, for example, here. You should find now uh, your properties of your view. So how to do that? Just the, uh, some uh, couple clicks on the uh, escape and on your free window. So we will get basement, basement floor plan. So what I'm I gonna do show you. We will go now to the uh, color scheme. So let's go to the color scheme and you will find here nothing actually. We will change now this from the category from the spaces to the room because we are using the room now. And for example, we will change it to the name because each of our room now have different name. You can find it here, the corridor, kitchen and we see. Actually, you can add some more, uh, some more uh, names of your um, uh, of your, uh, how to say it, the rooms, for example, like bed bedroom oh sorry bedroom for example and you will see we get the bedroom and new color but you can see also here the thing as call in use but it's not because we don't have now any rooms kind of bedroom so let's say okay and what we get as you can see different colors so uh this is what you want uh sometimes so when you want to show to your color scheme uh kind of Kind of easy thing. Uh, for example, we have here the one more room. This is like a balcony. If you can see here, this is something like a balcony. So let's create it like a balcony. Uh, let's go again to the room. Let's put it somewhere here. You can, can see the now it's new color, but I will change to the name to the uh, balcony. Let's say balcony. So uh, this uh, color same, but anyway, we changed the type of uh, of the name. Uh, let's go back now to the tag, and now I will change to the area. Now I can see this is seven square meter, and let's make the leader line again for that one too. Like oh sorry, this is, was my mistake. Don't uh, don't uh, uh, drag it. The only this thing, it was my mistake. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? Now we will create our first schedule, schedule for the room. Actually, when you will get like thousands of rooms or maybe even the hundred rooms, you not will use, uh, uh, you not will change your rooms in the on the plan. You will use the schedules. So let's create it, and I will show you the one some nice things. New schedule. Let's find the category here, the rooms. Where is our rooms? It is here, and let's say OK. And now uh, Revit asking us which kind of information we want to get from the rooms. So first thing first, I want area. The second thing, I want the name. And what I'm going to make? Maybe levels. Yes, I want also levels. So if you want, uh, actually, uh, how to understand uh, how to use that thing. Uh, let's say you have like your schedule. Uh, if our area here first, so you will get area like first column. After that, we'll go to name. And after that, we'll go level. So let's say I'll say here the area, here the name, and here the level. If you want, for example, uh, level put on the first uh, column, you should uh, change position from here to here. So, and it will change position to here, and area will change to here. I think 
you now understand how it's working. It's easy, but anyway, I am trying to show you. So to change position of the name, just move it up. Area, it's already here. Let's say OK, and now we will get our first, uh, first uh, schedule. As you can see here, the kitchen, corridor, uh, toilet and balcony. Uh, let's say in one moment you already forgot where is your kitchen uh, or you think this is a kind of strange uh, area and you want to check it where is this uh, room on the plan. Uh, you can just click on that, for example, on the kitchen and just uh, choose highlight in the model. Use it and Revit immediately will show you where this room located. It's not only about room. This is about everything if you will use the schedule. So uh, this is just just a small trick for you. Anyway, I think this is it for today. We will continue later on. Thank you guys and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.